All right, in this example, we're going to be performing base 5 division. And the two base 5 numbers we're going to be using are 3 and 224. So if you think back to regular base 10 division, what you do is you see how many times your number out here, the dividend, fits into here. And you try to just go by the different places. You don't want to do the whole number at once. Even if you can do that, that's not the process. You go as far as you need to and then see how many times this fits in. So what I would do here is I would go, OK, in base 5, does the, this symbol 3, does that fit into 2? Well, no. No matter what base you're doing, if your symbol here is a lower value than this one, you're going to need to move over and see if you can fit into the next place. So I will. Does 3 fit into 2, 2? Well, we have to think about in base 5 what I would need to multiply 3 by to get 2, 2 or something right below it. So let's just go ahead and write out the multiples of 3 right quick. So of course, 3 times 0 would be 0 in base 5. These are all in base 5, by the way. 3 times 1 would still be 3. 3 times 2, OK, that gets interesting. So 3 times 2 would be 6. But we can't use 6 because we're in base 5. Remember, base 5 means you've only got the symbols 0 through 5. Or 0 through 4, I mean. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 symbols. So 3 times 2 would be 6. So to write that in base 5, what I would do is that's 1 times 5 to the 1 plus 1 times 5 to the 0. Recall that 5 to the 0 is just 1. So I get the value in base 5, 1, 1. OK, well, that's still smaller than 2, 2. So let's try 3 by 3. Let's see what we get there. 3 by 3 would be 9. Again, that would be 1 group of 5 plus 4 groups of 1s. And so that's 1, 4 in base 5. OK, again, still smaller than 22, so or 2, 2. So let's try again. Let's do 3 by 4. We know that in base 10, that would be 12. So to write that in base 5, that would be 2 lots of 5 to give me 10. And finally, plus 2 lots of 1, which is 5 to the 0. So that gives me ding, 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 2, 2 in base 5. Cool. And if you get more practice with this, it'll be quicker. You can just be like 3 by 2, that's 6, and get 1, 1. And so it can be a lot quicker. So 3 goes into 2, 2 four times in base 5. So I'll put a 4 up here. And now we did all that. We've already got what 3 by 4 is. It's 2, 2. So I'll write that down and subtract. This cancels out. I'll bring down this 4. Now, even in base 5, 3 goes into 4, since 4 is one of my valid symbols. Well, we did the multiplication. 3 by 1 is 3. 3 by 2 is 1, 1. So 3 is only going to go in one time. If I try to go in again, I exceed it. But also, just you can tell, 3 goes into 4 once. 1 by 3 is 3. So we subtract, and we have a 1 left over. So in base 5, if I do 2, 2, 4 divided by 3, I get 4, 1 with the remainder of 1. So there we go. That is this example of division in base 5.